Hello, this is Ayman, welcome to my channel. So in this one we're going to go over the how to put in the, the Paladin's Divine Smite feature onto your character sheet. Um, so it doesn't actually do that for you. So on the sheet, uh, you see we've got Paladin here. I made this a Swagadin. Two levels Paladin, all the best um, Sorcerer. Just so we've got spell slots showing. I haven't selected any spells or going through them, just so we can it's easy to show, um, but the feature doesn't add anything. Um, so the biggest thing that we can do um, to add these uh, this feature uh, onto a sheet, which is starting at second level, uh, when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, you can expand one spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target. In addition to the weapon's damage, the extra damage is 2d8 for a first level spell slot. Plus 1d8 for each spell higher level than first to a maximum of 5d8, which would be a fourth level spell. Uh, the damage increased by 1d8 if the target is an undead or a fiend, to maximum 68. So we could create a spell to replicate that extra damage. So then whenever we do our melee attack, we just go to spells, click, and then rolls the extra damage for us. Uh, to make it easier, um, we also then use the cast button to just check that spell slot off automatically. If you're using uh, browsers like um, above ETT um, or above, not above, uh, beyond 20, um, this could automatically roll the standard phrase for you as part of casting. So it makes it easier. Bunky Dim knows that it's not actually a spell, that's actually just um, your device smite. All's good. It makes it so much easier for you to do all the rolls, which is the only reason why you want to add this in. Otherwise, you just roll the physical dice. Um, so to do this, you'd have to create two spells. One is the normal damage, and one is the damage against fiends and undead to factor in that extra 1d8 for you, um, which is easy enough to do. And then we're going to need either a subclass feature or a sub or a race feature to add those spells to your sheet that can use spell slots. Um, unfortunately, we can't just like add a feat. Or a wondrous item because the only features that can use spell slots on DD Beyond are subclass features and race features. Um, so it'd probably be easier for us to do it as, a, as a, a race feature just because you get this at second level, um, but you can't, but your subclass is third level. And in this particular thing, we're at Sorkadin, two levels, Pardon, Rest, so uh, Sorcerer, you wouldn't be able to do it. So let's create the spells first. Um, so uh, collections, homebrew, create spell, open a new tab. So in this case, we're going to create from scratch. So here we put in something like uh, divine. Right, I like to put my little asterisk for homebrew. Uh, I'll say I'm going to be putting in version two because I've already done all this before, and then messed up because my brain is laggy um, and glitching. Um, so I'm redoing this all over again. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, but you can put in whatever version you like. You can also just leave it blank, it doesn't matter. Uh, first level spell, spell school doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with evocation just because it makes more sense. Uh, casting time doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put one action. Uh, we'll put a spatic. Because um, I'm going to set this as, a, as, a, as a, uh, an attack, um, that makes it so it's a bit easier for it to show um, under here. Um, but it's not necessary. So spell range type, we'll, we'll put. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll say self. Um, no, we'll put in a touch because it's going to be an attack. It doesn't really matter, to be fair. Uh, range type will be instantaneous. Uh, for the description, probably better to just uh, copy in the uh, divine smite feature. Come on, there we go. Like so, and we are going to select at high level scaling because we do want this to be able to scale with the high level spell slots. And for the scaling type, uh, we are going to use the spell level. This gives us more control to say, at this level, do this, at that level, do that. Um, this is so that we introduce the cap 
um, because we only want it to be able to go up to fourth level. There's no point in us having it um, expanded to fifth level or higher. We don't want it to have any additional effects after that. This is what gives us that control. Elven classes, we have to put in something. So we should put in Paladin. Um, obviously, we want to make note that not to add up any Paladins because it's not supposed to be taken as a spell. Um, don't use a subclass uh, uh, if you could avoid it. Um, for things like, um, maybe like you know, uh, I've got past them. The oaths here, don't use the oaths because then it will add it to the sheet um, for anyone in your campaign who um, picks that paladin subclass. Because um, it's just weird behavior from DD Beyond, just don't use subclasses if you can avoid them. Create a spell. And I think that's everything we need for basic information. So we can move on to additional information. Uh, attack type melee. And that will allow us to make sure it, sits, it shows on this sheet where we want it to. Here near the modifiers. So the modifier, we're going to do the damage. Um, it's going to be a reading. And it starts off at 2d8. Uh, effect value, no, there's no effect value, all the rest is fine, just save. And then at a higher level, we click the blue button. So the scaling level value in this case is going to be the level at which the change occurs. In this case, second level. And the modifier to scale is going to be our 2d8 radiant. The scale effect will be, <laughs> this is very confusing, we're going to put it as additional points. But for the dice count and damage, we'll, what we're going to put in here will replace this. In this case, we're going to put in 3d8. This is because we chose spell level as our me method of um, scaling. Um, so basically it means that when it comes to this level, replace this with whatever we use here. So even though it says additional points, it's not going to be additional. Um, this is going to re replace that damage. So now we want it to be 3d8. So now we save. And then we do the next one, which is going to be a third level. And modify the scale. And again, we're going to be placing the base 2d8. Um, so in this case, it's going to be um, 3d8. No. 4d8. My brain is lagging. Now we save. In a high level, last one. A fourth level, one of our scale. Additional points, even though it's not additional, because D and Beyond likes to be weird. Five. D eight. So now we can save changes. Uh, save changes again just for good measure. And now the next step is to create the version of this that will now work against fiends and undead. Um, so we go back to our um, uh, create a spell. We just click there. But now we're going to create a copy of the one we just made. So we create. What about this beat? So divine smite uh, versus under and fiends. Again, I'm going to put in two, but obviously you put in whatever version you want, it doesn't matter. I want to keep everything the same there. So we're just going to go to, to modifiers. So the base is going to be 3d8. Then we go here to just increase each one of these by one. That's the 48, and that becomes the 58. 
in the Epigium 68. Save. Save again for good measure. Now again, to get these spells onto the sheet without having to use up your spell selections as a paladin, um, we're going to want to create a custom race or, or a, uh, a, a homebrew. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, my brain. Um, we could create as like a variant, but it depends on, on that gets quirky depending on which type of base race you're using. I prefer just make it whole. I'll just make a whole new one. Now, for my character, it was just a basic normal human. Um, okay. So here, I'm going to put in divine this way. Ah, helps the spell. Again, we're putting two, so again, I've already tried all this. Uh, everything else is going to be the same up there. I'm going to save changes to change the name and stuff. <coughs> and then we're going to go to racial traits. Like a five, so we want to add a sixth one in. Uh, divine, smite. And divine, if gain helps build. We don't need much in here because we're going to keep the, put this as a hidden feature so it doesn't clunk up the, um, the sheet. Uh, we're just going to go to granted and then we can go down. If we do check these to hide it because we don't need to have them um, showing. Save. We're creating this for our own use so we already know. Now we can go to the spell section. Defense spell. Now it would be tempting to put them both here, but this creates a choice. Um, weapons, we don't want it to create a choice, we just wanted to add it. So it's just, just a spell. I believe it's going to be Charisma, because it's going to be for a Paladin. You can then just scroll down to the bottom here. And when it says consume a spell slot, choose to yes. Counts as known will be no. Always prepared, no. And then just save. Excuse me, I think my pizza is repeating on me. Uh, S bill, let me do the other one. Devine versus Undead and Veins. Uh, ability score, charisma. Consume spell slot, yes. Count says no, no. Always prepared, no. Save. And let's save again. Oh, now we can go to the character and moment of truth. Um, we're going to want it to make sure that there are two options selected. Um, homebrew. The first is going to be the homebrew to allow us to choose after our homebrew race. We can always turn it back off afterwards. And the second option. Um, I've got it there. Show level spell, show level scale spells. Uh, this is so that when you show the spell under the other higher spell slots, it will show the additional damage. So when you click to roll it, it will roll the higher damage. Um, there's no point in creating the spell if you're going to have that option off because the whole point of adding this to your character sheet is so that you can roll it more easily at the different levels. Um, so yeah, so now that those have been turned on, we should be able to now choose our race. Now you think that I'd be able to just type in divine and it would come up, but no, no, I have to click on start and then it shows up for some reason. I, I, I don't like the system. Now that's selected, we can go to our character sheet. And it should hopefully be working this time. So the base level is going to show here, which is why we set it to an attack. But if you're using your, your lower level spells uh, first and foremost, um, it's nice and easy to add them there. And when you want to do a high level version for high level slots, you can just go to, to your spell section where you can see them here. And you can see them scaling to the higher levels. 
And you can also see that they cap at the 5d8 or 68 for fiends and undead. So then they work, and that's how the um, work. So if you wanted to cast them, that spell slot's been used, and then you can just roll the damage. <coughs> In this case, 16. And you can see that the uh, spell slot got used. So that's how you do uh, Paladin Divine Smite. Hope it helped. Thank you.